Hi peeps, Hillbilly Halfway. Look, I even had a shave today. Um, just a short video today, as I haven't got time to do my normal stuff. Uh, what a setup! What a setup has happened to reform. I never thought I'd see such a setup. I got to be honest with you. And not just one channel is on this. Even GB News are the same, and Talk TV. They are unwilling to say it's Channel 4 when it obviously is. It's come out this morning uh, that the guy was working for Channel 4 News as well. And he did a film with Channel 4. So this, 2021, I think he was working with Channel 4 News. This is obviously happening. Uh, the guy was a expert in uh, covert camera stuff. So, that day he went to help at Farage's do, in uh, wherever it was, Clacton was it? The day he helped there, nobody really knew him and he turned up to help so they let him go off. And what is a coincidence that on that same day he happens to go with a Channel 4 reporter, undercover reporter, and then says those stupid stuff that nobody normally says on exactly the same day when everybody else was there and he used to work for Channel 4 News, eh? This is a stitch up. Even GB News are in on this because uh, I was watching it last night to see, because they usually get a little bit more truth on there, but nobody is willing to say what has actually happened. Uh, it's an absolute travesty. If you've got any sense, vote reform to stick the two fingers up at these people. It's uh, beyond, absolutely beyond. And the latest polls that come out is that UKIP, not UKIP, um, Reformer, two points ahead of the Conservatives, absolutely smash them. I don't care anymore. The way these people are, they can't even win with tidy policies. They just got to win by cheating. It's a absolutely disgusting, if you ask me. Now, um, if this, which is 90% true that this happened, uh, that they tried to set up somebody with a candidate, that, uh, not a candidate, a person working for reform that wasn't actually the, working for reform, it was working for Channel 4. If this was true, Channel 4 News, news should be shut down and uh, certainly reported to the authorities for election, in, election interference because that's serious stuff, you know. I know I sound surprised about these things, but you just sometimes you just don't think, no, they wouldn't do anything like that. You sometimes you put your normal feelings to one side and you think, no, they wouldn't do. They did. They have done this. They have done. The more you look into it, the deeper it gets. The guy was interviewed by the mail and he basically admitted to it and said, I'm not talking anymore. It's uh, it's insane. Absolutely insane. So get out there but next Wednesday, you vote for reform, just to show, show the fingers up for them all. It's uh, disgusting. Totally destroy the Conservative Party, I don't care anymore. I've got to be honest, that Rich Richie Sunak and that are all... When you see it on the news yesterday, on BBC News, everybody was saying that it's a racist party, it wasn't at all. But all three leaders are, are in on this. They know what's going on, they're scared of it, all three of them. That should not have been allowed on the news yesterday when they found out what was happening. So um, please comment, rate and subscribe and uh, just a video like this today uh, for politics things because I have to tell you some lambs, okay? So please comment, rate and subscribe, like I said, ta-da!